All right, well, if you're watching live right now, this is the first ever Fortnite podcast. And it's pretty much just going to be me and Brewski hosting it. And if anybody else joins later on, maybe we'll have some special guests. It'll be awesome. I don't know what else to say. I can see D. Clue popping in every once in a while, giving his. D. Clue will be the primary guest for sure. But yeah, we'll talk about anything under the sun. It'll be two games for sure long, depending on if we die right away or something yeah, terribly goes wrong. And usually I'll stream the first part, then it'll go on the YouTube video, the YouTubes. On either of our channels, Brewski, if you want to shout out your channel, mine is Trev Goat. Brewski's yes, is Brewski Eleven. Brewski Eleven. Use with the gamer tag because they're not similar at all. I'm a star. One is Brewski. Anyone who does not know we're that. <laughs> just a bad choice in gamer tag on my part, but I'm just owning it at this point. <laughs> For sure. All right. Well. I mean, I suppose we can jump into some topics. Kind of had a little bit, I don't know, unformal, I guess. It's not really planned. We're just going to talk and see where it goes. And there is a guy landing behind you. And we will do a couple call outs during the thing, during the games. But we'll try to stick to the topics as much as we can. So, I mean, the first. I mean, episode, first topic, we could talk about Fortnite. <laughs> and <laughs> what else is there to talk about, really? <laughs> God, I haven't picked up a boogie bomb in so long. I almost wonder if that should be, like, in the vault. I think it probably should. I mean, I suppose if it, you're just going for, like, cool game-ending kills. Yeah. I don't think they're used that much anymore. Definitely not. I think I'm sitting really close to my TV right now. Really focused for the first for podcast. Guys right outside. Going over there. Yeah, and if you are a viewer, you could give us Give us some topics if you want your opinion. Yeah, he's right outside you. Good job. Straight All elimination. Right. <laughs> Straight elimination. Oh. Back to the topic here. <laughs> Back to the topic that we haven't <laughs> talked about yet. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. What should we start out with? How are you enjoying the new season? <sighs> I haven't got up to play as much as I wanted to. Um. To enjoy everything out of the new season, but I. Every time I get on, I enjoy it. So. I mean, there's a lot of changes. A lot there's of changes. changes I feel like people weren't too hip on right away. Yeah, the building is definitely. If you want to explain the building changes, I don't really. Yeah, so. I didn't read I mean, a ton into it. A lot it. of it is just like all of them got like right away. Wood is a nerf. I mean, it's only two hits to break it now, which is a big change. And I feel yeah, so like if you're watching right now, I'm gonna just explain it. <laughs> so it takes. One, two hit to break it now. You didn't know that. Instead of what was it before three? Yeah. Yeah. Either I don't. I think it was three. So three hits. Change that to two. It's not a huge difference, but right just um, bricks health is overall lower. Um, metals health is stronger, so it kind of encourages maybe camping in a one by one of metal, which I mean. It's, I guess, I mean, it doesn't, I don't want to say they're trying to cater to 
lesser skilled players, but it does kind of seem like the skill gap might be getting lowered a little bit with yeah. these changes. I feel like they they want new um, people to join Fortnite still. Like it's like the most popular game already, but they want people to keep trying and trying it. And I mean, anything to help the newcomers is yeah. what will benefit them. So, because I, mean, I mean, we've been playing. I don't know, for since it came out pretty much. September, yeah, September. So it's just a lot different Fortnite than it than when yeah, it was then, lot. so and I just don't know, like I worry sometimes that like maybe if they start to just go away from like what people would want, they're maybe gonna try to like it's gonna start to become like a COD situation where COD used to be one of the biggest games. I mean probably not as big as Fortnite, but I mean they had a solid run of just like modern warfares and the early black ops where it was cod was the game and then i feel like they kind of went away from boots on the ground and they started doing the exosuit stuff and people weren't a fan and they kept pushing it anyway and yeah now, i mean they yeah you just out of the marketplace like you don't hear about yeah. it anymore because fortnite is so big yeah they almost did too much and that's what you don't yeah. want fortnite to do is do too much to I mean they change yeah. things every day ish I mean especially every week but like I feel like there's sometimes where it's like every day there's like oh, we added this yeah. maybe a new game I mean it's I great like that they like the game yeah for what it was yeah, exactly to make wholesale changes yeah it's great that they like keep up as much as they do like they're supporting the community really well but somebody just to let the game go a little bit. Oops, that's pop. There you go. Oh, also, I just feel like double shoddy was such a big deal to take out, like yep. everyone was using it. Especially, I mean, we're console, but PC, it was even a bigger yep. deal. Because now it's uh, more of just that SMG spring, and... which yeah, I'm not. Spray and spray. I was never. Compact SMGs and drum guns and stuff like that. Yep, and I, like right now I have an LMG. I would never carry an LMG usually, but. Yeah. Just like if we. I mean, there's better builders than. I mean, us. I mean, you're a really good builder. I feel like I'm a decent builder, but <laughs> there's still people where they're building like crazy and you just need to shoot all their stuff down. To, there's a full uh, shield up here if you want it. I can carry, yeah, I can carry it if you drop it. That's a little, a lot farther than I thought I was going to. <laughs> <laughs> just kept moving yeah. backwards. Take a little damage, that's alright. But yeah, back to the, the double shotty, I, I feel like I was just, like, getting used to... Oh. Either using a double shotty or like switching the pump to the to tack, and I was like just getting used to that, and then they changed it, <laughs> yeah. and so that kind of sucks. And but I get like double pump for a long time was super OP, but I never felt like pump tack was so OP that you couldn't take like you had to take it out of the game. Yeah, like I get double pump because where when you can lay down yeah. that much damage that. Quick. Wick. Like they were, That's what the wasn't it? Because then after that it was like pumped to heavy, wasn't it? Or heavy, heavy, yeah. even. Yeah, double heavy was really yeah, strong. But they, well, they, at, well, they did that first shoddy nerf, and they made uh, pumps or uh, heavies like do ridiculous headshot damage. So double heavy became. Mm -hmm. And then meta, so now it's just. I guess I haven't really even used it since, yeah, but isn't it? You can't do it at all, can you? Well, you can, but I mean, it's there's really no point because you can shoot a second shot at most guns as fast. As you can yeah, your like you might as well carry gun. the SMG. You might as well, yeah, yeah. That's what I have right now too. So. Actually, carrying two ARs and a pump. Yeah, why? Well, yeah, I have an LMG then SMG right now. Do you need bandages? I've got. One. I'd take two. I guess I could have just used this as well once you drop them. Do this shit out in the open. <coughs> Why not? Right in the, the river. The dead zone. Yes. Right 
like the worst spot to do something out in the open. I'll There's buildings know. still west. I think they're gonna launch. It's up uh, Well, we haven't seen a lot of action this game, which is no. I guess it's been quiet. <laughs> It's in favor of the podcast. Yeah, we have to run past Dusty. I guess what are some other changes that are kind of notable? I mean, the, the building, double shotties. Yeah. Um, I mean, just the map changes in general, too. I mean,. I yeah, feel like that's changing of, so much. Yeah. Our favorite place like to drop used to be like, uh, what was it called? Factories right here. And I've heard yeah. like a conspiracy that like all these like building stuff that they have going on is like all these trucks with wood yep. pallets. They're bringing it back. Bringing it back. So that could be interesting. Yeah. I feel Wonder like that's just how they're like keeping the map fresh. Yeah. Ever coming out with a new map, which I know a lot of people have always wanted. Yeah, for sure. There's been, there's I remember been cries for a new map for a while now. Yeah, I remember I was talking to you. I was like, it'd be cool to have like a desert map, and then they came out with uh, yeah. <laughs> paradise. They added a, yeah, a whole yeah. desert portion of the map. I was like, just think of what they could do though like have a whole like map that's just like desert like paradise I mean, they probably could I bet you they could just like replicate this whole one and just like change everything and then have two if they wanted to yeah so it'd be kind of the same but like different you know visuals like sort of grass have sand and or I guess I don't know what else snow there's people in yeah, retro true. Just different texture packs, I guess, kind of like Minecraft. It's a drop right here, too. Twenty people left. We're going strong. I guess I don't want it to seem like we're shitting on Epic a whole lot with all these things, because actually they've done a really good job of keeping everything pretty balanced yeah. in the game. I mean, I mean, like, um, almost immediately when people realize how strong the compact SMG was, like, the next day, yep. they had a uh, nerf for it. Yep, and that's huge. There's shots back here in Dusty, too, but I don't know if that would be smart to push that way. I'm gonna pop this med kit quick. Yeah, on top of Dusty, there's some shooting, but I don't think we can go right There's people on this hill. Yup, sure. And one below it. Yup. I don't know if they're the same team, but I kind of have to push right into that anyway. Let's see. Up right here. Hit the one. Hit the other one. Push up on this guy to the right. Yep, keep shooting him. I'm pushing him to the right. I keep shooting. Hit a headshot on him. Other guy's white health. Knock the one. Super low, super low. Nice. In front of us east. I'm gonna start shooting. You guys are dusty. Okay. Might finish this guy. Yeah, I'm getting hit from the left. Yeah. Oh, come on, grab the sniper. Alright. Yep, he's on top. Yeah, Dropped him. Where'd this guy go? 
other team's in a fight now, so we'll okay. kill him if we can find him. Might have went into the woods. Yeah, I think he did. Well, I'm not in there. Still there, no? I'm not sure. I kind of got out of there. There's a yeah. full shield over here if you can drink it or use it or something. You got two, yeah. Good point. Right, I'm gonna come by you. Alright, I'm gonna go up to the top of this hill and I can cover you. Guy behind me. Two guys. Shooting. I got the other one. Gonna get the other one. Got the one knocked. Got him. Nice. Uh, there's a scar over here. I got a gold one. I'm gonna pop a chug so I can take this RPG. Yeah. That full shield's still in the back of the truck if you want it. Three left. Three left, huh? Two of them are north in that base jumping. Yeah. <clears throat> Watch out for the sneaky other one. Troops lurking around. Oh, I see one. They're not in the circle, so... No. This RPG, I'm hoping, is pretty clutch. Oh, I, didn't, I think the other guy had one, too. I didn't grab it. Uh, yep, they're running this way. Yep, I see that. We should probably try and get on top of that hill, huh? You can have that. I'm gonna launch. Okay. Wow! Oh uh, shit, yep, they're getting on top, they're getting on top. We'll meet him, I'm right behind you now. Nice. They rifted? Right on me. Another one's right on me. Oh, I almost had him. He got me though. Oh, this guy's fucking idiot. That a boy. I'm gonna get the dub. We had to get the dub. We had to get the dub. Cast, you know. <laughs> Why did I have five people spectating me? That's far too many. I was a little worried because I had that compact SMG, and God is that thing still beastly, by the way. I know they nerfed it, but I mean, <laughs> thing is still strong. Yeah, but for the guy sure. that got you, I uh, potatoed a little bit there. I don't know if you were spectating me yet at that point. But I was not. It got a little ugly. Alright, well that there goes the first this segment. The, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say is this the commercial break? This now? is the commercial break.
the commercial break brought to you by Subway. Go ahead and eat fresh. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to eat healthily without com compromising on taste? Well, now you can. New subs have arrived at Subway restaurants. <laughs> sponsored by them, there, are, hoping to. <laughs> there are a variety of items available which you can choose from to create low-fat sub that is just right for you. The new low-fat subs make you e make eating healthier easier than ever. Are Subway, eat Subway? fresh. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, there's no way you just are coming up with that just, off the top of your head. <laughs> Subway. Eat fresh. Alright, well in the next segment, I suppose we could talk about some sports or anything else that comes to our mind. Yeah, I don't know. We kind of got a little into the game at the end, of course you have we to. Did. Yeah, we wanted to win it, for sure. And I also am not sure what else we could talk about Fortnite-wise. I feel like we covered like, <laughs> yeah. all the changes. All the basics. I guess we could have gone into like more like what we're doing and why we're doing it, but that's not really podcast. It's kind of like... Why are we doing this podcast? Just to do a podcast? For the fame and glory? <laughs> For the five views that it might get. Hopefully. <laughs> get like 50. Yeah, maybe I'll probably tweet it. The first half of the video won't have my, my face in it, um, but the second part hopefully should. I freaking got done with the game, and I used QuickTimer to, like, the, tw the Twitch has my face, but on QuickTime it... Uh, or like it wouldn't in the in the YouTube video, so I have to do it on QuickTime too. And then it just said QuickTime canceled like midway through the video. I was like, S great. <clears throat> All right, but anyways, let's get into some sports topics. Um, this was, I mean, First one yep. Go ahead. Be, did you see that uh, tweet that I DM'd you in about Jackie Bradley Jr.'s cat? I did see that. Holy Moses. That guy's something. I don't know why, but I find, like, ridiculous catches in baseball. Like, yeah. Of, like, funnest, like, clips to watch in sports. Like, it's cool to watch, like, football highlights and watch people, like, truck sticking people and stiff arming them and all that shit. But for some reason, diving catches to me are some of the best clips in sports. Yeah, that is true. And it was, I noticed it was against my twins. Um, so uh, it was. I I didn't get offended, but <laughs> there's a uh, John Wick gonna be by me. He's on the house next to me. You got again. All I have is an SMG. Nice shot. Did you shoot? Did he hit you? Oh, he shoot? He did. Yeah, That's why now. I hate landing chimney sometimes. <laughs> Uh, Probably he's, gonna push me. Yeah, he's coming somewhere. He's hurting. Him. Maybe he's just in the house still. So. Oh no, he's up top. Oh, he's one away from being knocked. He's drinking some minis right now. So we have a little bit more health. But he's just cornered right here. Holy yeah, shit. Teammates below. I didn't have enough health. Bring out the builds. Above you, above you. Oh, why did I switch? I should have just kept the AR out. Alright, well, we go to the next game. <laughs> Let's get into maybe some fantasy football. We got college football coming up. 
We got NFL. Um, you can educate me on college football because I don't pay any attention to that. Really? What's your team in that? Notre Dame. Oh, yeah, you got You and my brother. Yep. Is Corey Notre Dame, too? Yeah. So my dad is. Got us started in that. Yeah, I don't know shit about their team this year either. Should be pretty good. Open top 10. Should be. The standings. We play Michigan right away first game. Just thinking about trying to get out there, but tickets are like $500 a piece. Is it in? Is that like it's at, at Notre Dame. I think. Where the fuck is that? Ohio. That was South South Bend. Yeah. Have you we gone to a game before? I have not. I would like to at some point. My my uncle, he went to an Arizona Notre Dame game, like in Arizona. So it's probably a little cheaper. I feel like the Notre Dame Stadium's like super expensive. Wonder how expensive like Army versus like Notre Dame because don't they play Army? And yeah. Like, yep. Over here? Yeah. That. I mean, it probably. I feel like Michigan's kind of like a top. Either, though. Army is. Um... Gosh, I didn't think of the name of the, the place. If I'm being honest, I think USB. It's the only college football games. Well, I mean, in SDSU, but I've never gone to any, like, bigger college football games. Yeah, um, I don't think the guy have either, honestly. I guess I've seen, uh, NDSU play USD, so I saw Carson Wentz. So that's pretty cool. About all I can hang my hat on for college football. I probably saw him at SCSU too. If you guys don't know, Bruski went to USD, I went to SCSU. Kind of rivals. We hate, each other. we hate each other, doing a podcast together just so we can argue about sports. All of it. <laughs> argue about everything. Remember that time we almost beat you in something? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, I'll fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I got a mini for you. We beat you in basketball a couple times, but it was never any big game. Just not the summit journey. No, we can never beat you when it matters. And I honestly thought we were going to do it this year because... Yeah. I think we split in the season series, but one game, I think at home, we absolutely destroyed you guys, and then on the road, you beat us by, like, like one or two or something. And I was like, okay, neutral site, we're going to win this thing. And then you guys beat that ass. So I was like, oh, <laughs> there you go. And yeah, I mean, Mooney. yeah, you lost your best player. Uh, we've got um, Dom and... Skyler, who hopefully we can both have them on at some point for like a Fortnite episode, Fortnite podcast. That'd be a nice get. I'd like to have Dom on a pod. A pod. Maybe we'll have like a little bit, um, you know, be pretty organized or, you know, have like a, a set plan by then so we can like make it kind of professional. When you're playing yeah, Fortnite, I don't know how right I don't know how professional you can be by playing Fortnite, but you know, as, as professional as we can get, I suppose. In in the tunnel, in the tunnel. Yeah, they're gonna come out. Yeah, they gotta go. I I downed him back there. Yeah. I see this guy. Eliminated him. Nice. More minis right now, buddy. Nice. <clears throat> Guess 
so hopefully we'll have some some special guests in the future. Some strong guests. Other than just us rambling. <laughs> what about nothing? But we hope it's entertaining. Yep, that's all we're going for. Um, so back to what we talked about: college football, college basketball, USD, SESU. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how good we're. Guy in front of me. Either team is supposed to be in football. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know either. I'm sure we'll take a step back because we don't have Straggler anymore. But yeah. He just hit a really good shot. I peaked way too much. I'm gonna try to. Very. Much. Yeah, maybe if you get could get back on top. That's what I'm going. Yeah, they're one's just running in the tunnel right now. Yeah, I'm just on top of my ramp right now. One just ran in the tunnel. I'm not sure we did it. Oh, he's, he's going up here now. Nice. One's right behind you. Ah. Damn it. <laughs> we need one more good one. One more good one. We call it a, call a podcast. It a pod. <laughs> the inaugural. The, I can't even say it. Inaugural. Inaugural. <laughs> the inaugural pod. excited for fantasy football. I'm sure you are too, so you can put that bad season that you had last year behind you. Oh my god. Last season was definitely the worst season I've ever had in fantasy football. I feel like my team was pretty good, except I would play someone who would score the most amount of points that they've scored all year against me, and I don't remember oh, the numbers, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but like my versus... Like playing versus teams and like them against me was yeah your points wise points against, points against. Were... was it insane was yeah and so yeah I don't remember how many wins I ended up having but it was very I'll air <laughs> I deteriorating to the spirit <laughs> yeah I remember midway through the season Jack who we might have Jack Huther who we might have on the pod Ooh. at some point. Wouldn't be a bad pod guest. But anyways, he was uh, also having a pretty bad year, and he changed his team name to I'm Ass. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then you started having a pretty bad I year. I followed suit. And then you changed, <laughs> you changed your team to I'm the most ass. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it was rough. I think in my other league I got, you know, like, second or third. Nah, I wasn't second. I know that for sure. Third or fourth, probably. I was in three leagues, and I won them all. So I don't have much, much to complain. All downhill from there. All right, so give us some tips, Brew, on the old podcast about picking a good fantasy lineup. Do you actually want tips? Because I can drop you some knowledge right now. Drop some knowledge on the pot. <laughs> if you're playing standard one quarterback leagues, you don't need to take a quarterback early. It might seem enticing to be like, yeah, Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady, but every year there's quarterbacks who come out of nowhere to have productive years. And I'll take a prime example for you would be your boy Case Keenum for the Vikings last year. Nobody yeah. thought he was going to do anything, and then he ended up being one of the best, like, I don't know, I don't want to say best quarterbacks in the league, but for sure one of the most surprising Very, quarterbacks. Yeah, he's productive so, for sure. Yeah. So I would say that's my number one tip, is load up on skill positions, running backs, wide receivers early, and then you can get a quarterback later who can surprise and be very valuable for your team. Well, you heard it here for first, folks. Don't, I don't take... Think you heard it here first. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> well, you heard it here on the podcast first. <laughs> you heard it here on the pod. <laughs> There's knowledge. Don't take quarterback early if you're in a one QB QB league. If you're league. in a two quarterback league, which I am then, in a two quarterback yeah, league. Then it could... Different story. Yeah. Yeah. 
that league is people load. I, I there's 12 teams in the league, and I bet eight of the first 12 picks are quarterback. Yeah. Which I when I my fir my first year doing it was probably I don't know four years ago, and I didn't know anything about two quarterback leagues. I didn't know a lot about fantasy football at the time. So going into it, the consensus picks were kind of like Antonio Brown, mm -hmm. like Le'Veon Bell, and back then it was Adrian Peterson. And I was going into the draft, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go for these guys. And I got up and I took, I think, and I took uh, LaShawn McCoy, I think. And then by the, ne the time I got up in the second round, there was like 15 quarterbacks already gone. And you need to start two, and only 30 can start. Because there's only 30 teams in the NFL, <laughs> and I was screwed. I was starting, like, Kyle Orton. And if you've Ooh. never heard of Kyle Orton, that's because <laughs> you probably shouldn't hear of Kyle Orton. He's retired now. He was absolutely terrible. Did he Was he Bears? He was Bears. But when I had him, he played for the Bills, I think. Yeah, he fell off the face. Yeah, it was bad. The face of the map. And that was to start the year. Luckily, Here's him. there's a lot of... What? <laughs> he fell off the face of the map. He's oh. out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's in the water. <laughs> yeah, luckily, the only thing I had going for me was there's a lot of quarterback turnover. Like, year to year, there's just a lot of, like, someone will do shitty and someone, like, drafts. Is this a like, keeper? This year, I'm sure. No, it's not. But, I mean... Teams will draft a rookie, and then they won't start him, and then their team will start doing terrible, and then they'll be like, alright, let's start playing the rookie. So, I had a lot of that situation, so I was able to kind of put it back together. Like, I'm sure this year, I don't think Baker may oh, right here. start. I'm trying to build right here, but it's not letting me. Wow. You wrecked that guy. There's a full shield for you. Do you think Baker Mayfield will start this year? Uh, it's just, I don't know. It's so tough to to know. Like, you want like him to have some NFL, you know, just like sitting back and watching how everything works. I mean, the game is yeah. like so much faster. And I'm he said he NFL, doesn't so. want to, though, which is surprising. Yeah. But I guess, I mean, nobody who's, uh, really wants to be a backup. But... Yeah, who would... Ty Tyrod Taylor, Taylor. would start over him. Yeah, I just... I mean, I it's guess... It puts a lot of pressure on him, though, too. Because, like, you know if he, like, screws up at any second, he's getting pulled. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, it's tough to see him not making mistakes when he plays for the Browns. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Given they got a lot better this offseason, but still, like, the Browns. Yep. If there's any team that They has... do have, like, a lot of good talent on their team. So I just... Yeah. They got better, there's no doubt about it, but... I just think they're gonna have a lot to prove to people before... Mm -hmm. People can start believing in the Browns again after <laughs> the last couple seasons they've had. Yeah, that's tough. It's tough go that they've had for a couple of years now. You're not holding medkits, are you? No. Mm, probably could, though. That's right. I'm popping this Are you one carrying mini? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Too late. Oh, well. <clears throat> yeah, so I need... I'm only in two leagues, I guess. And one is... What's the... What's the draft where you, like, actually draft the players? That made no sense. <laughs> I think you always draft. <laughs> <laughs> we'll add that to the highlight reel. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm drafting like cheerleaders. Um, like you know, we go in order, like one through twelve. What's the one where yeah. you just like pick your player? Like, okay, it's your oh, turn. Auction. Yeah, auction draft. Thank you. Um, so I have one auction draft and then one just regular draft. Auction, and... auction drafts are fun. I really yeah, I'm not. I'm not in any, but. They're fun to do. Yeah, and last year I think I don't know if in our league that we that I drafted OBJ, but in that league I drafted OBJ and then he got hurt right away. Oh, so yeah. that 
kind of screwed me, but I still ended up getting, like, I swear, third or fourth. Like, I remember I didn't have to pay, so it was, it was probably third. I also was my... drafted Odell in my $50 league, and he got hurt, and I was kind of screwed past that, but... Actually, I, don't know. I, I ended up winning the league, but... I, it was... Honestly, it was kind of the reverse of what happened to you in our league last year, where everyone kept having their freaking best weeks against you. Mm -hmm. I was having the best luck. Like, I'd go up against a team, and they would just do absolutely terrible, and I'd end up winning. And I kind of just had that happen to me for like five weeks straight in the playoffs, and I ended up winning the whole thing. That did not happen to me. No, it did not. You had a tough go, but he'll bounce back. This is the bounce back year. Last year you took an L, <laughs> but this year you <laughs> bounce back. Took some L's hard. Exciting time to be a Vikings fan, at least. Yeah, I am excited for this season. I don't want to put, like, too much pressure on him and get too hyped, because, you know, typical Vikings, something will go wrong, It'll but... Your heart. Yeah, and you never know, like, in the NFL, too, like, I guess in any sport, like, someone gets injured and is very key to your team, like, okay, let's two linemen go down, I'm trying to scramble for linemen, I mean, that's... That's our yeah. season right there, and then, <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe... You know, Phelan gets hurt, or Kirk. I mean, if anybody gets hurt, it's just, that's, it's tough. I mean, to be always... honest, though, you guys recovered pretty well last year from oh, yeah. a lot of quarterback injuries. I mean, because, yeah. what, Bradford got hurt right away. You know, and I'm not even a fan of Bradford at all, though. I was just kind no. of glad it was him getting hurt. There's guys jumping in the water right here. He saw me. Yet. Yeah, I'm not going back to buy you. We could probably run around if you want to pause in. Instead of going through the lake. Is there a rift somewhere? Nope. Yeah, I think I'd much rather be a Vikings fan than a Dolphins fan right now. <laughs> don't have much to hang our hat on. Now that's... That's tough. Didn't they just trade Landry? Was it? Yep. To Cleveland, to the team that we were just talking about. Yeah, that's that's disappointing. I really like Jarvis Landry. Because they had the first. Yep. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> you know, he was the first jersey I bought from the Dolphins. Looked like Ricky Williams. Yeah, and then they trade him. Was it? Did you just buy it like last year? Yeah, I just bought it beginning of this last season. So I got it for one season, and now he's gone. That's tough. I have a Diggs jersey. His contract runs out this year, so they better not freaking trade him. I try. I hit one guy. Once. Yeah, I got one for shield. Hit another one for shield. Sniper's in front of us, he was in the I honestly kind of just want to try to box these guys into the water. Yeah. Yeah. He's not even close to me. Yep, there you go. Got shield on him. Dropping. White elf, knock. Watch behind us. Yep. Are we just we need to finish this off. How did I that, shot that guy? Yeah. Kinda wanna rush, but 
Nice. Nice. Alright, watch behind us now. Yep. He's sniping. Jeez, what do they all have? Oh. They're the nuts. Yeah. Good wall. Did you don't have an AR right now? Is that you? Oh, yep, they're here. Oh, it's coming. Easy. Got one knocked. That one's right here on me. He has the same skin as you. Got him. Nice. Alright, people are probably gonna try to sandwich us here. This is the storm. <clears throat> On top of the hill. Oh, I thought I had him. Jesus, they are wrecking the shit out of me. Dude. I'm just gonna get on decent ground. Oh wait, I come to ground level with this. Oh wait. Got that rocket off. Nice try. I think that's gonna do it for the old Fortnite podcast episode one. It's not even sure how long it went. <clears throat> yeah, we got the first one. It's kind of rough going All through. From that, but... Yeah. But we will get better, uh, and we'll have more topics, and we'll try to get through them under faster. Under underrated part of trying to uh, do a podcast and play, it's a little harder than you think to try yeah. to keep your head in the game and also like think to uh, talk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> try to have other than callouts. That, yeah, kind of have a conversation that people would actually want to listen to while trying to strategically play. Yep, exactly. But yeah, we'll be back. Um, hopefully, about one every week. I mean, they're only going to be about thirty. I mean, this one's longer, obviously. I mean, maybe we could go for an hour. Yeah. Our <laughs> gameplay. Exactly. If we have two solid games right away, it'll probably just be two solid games. Like, this one we had a couple rough games in the middle, but we'll go from there. And I guess if you have any closing thoughts you want to say. I don't. I'm, I'm excited about where the pod can go, though. I'm glad we got the first one under our belt. We'll be Only better, go up from you know? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just glad we got that first win so we don't seem like complete scrubs, you know? True. Alright. Well, I think we'll call All her right. there and see you later. Appreciate you, viewers.